Hey, what's up, you guys? This is me, Juanito, for Intos Wrestling Blog and more. How are you guys doing? But well, today, tonight, what are time you watching this? I'm going to do a review on WWE WrestleMania XL Night 1. Let's get started. The show opens with Triple H coming out and telling the fans welcome to a new era in WWE. All right. In the first match of the night, in the opener of WrestleMania XL Night 1, Rhea Ripley retains her World Women's Championship against Becky Lynch in a great opener in a great back and forth match. For a minute, I thought Becky was going to win, but nah, Rhea retains. This is one of her best title defenses. I enjoyed this title defense. I enjoyed the one she had with Nia Jax at Limitation Chamber this year. And I liked another match of hers that she had with Natalya in a Raw. Yeah, those three defenses I have enjoyed. The rest of her defenses, I really haven't enjoyed like but yeah Ripley retains she remains our world women's champion and yeah her reign of terror continues who will beat her for the title even though it's being rumored that's going to be Bianca Belair but that could change but if it's Bianca I would not mind but I think someone that could need the win should beat her but only time will tell once again great opener to start Wrestlemania XL night one all right in the next match of the night in the ladder match for both Raw and SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Grayson Waller and Austin Theory win the SmackDown Tag Team titles and The Miz and R-Truth win the Raw Tag Team titles. It was so interesting because both sets of titles, they were hanging separately. So yeah, this ladder match was great. Had a lot of great, crazy, amazing spots. Some were scary. But it was a fun ladder match. But yeah, I'm actually happy for Austin Theory and Grayson Waller and Miz and our troop. You know, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, they needed this win. They needed this win badly. And our truth and the Miz, let's be honest. Our truth, no one thought he was going to return. And he did. You guys know what I'm talking about. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, he got sick or something, he got something in his foot. And he thought he was going to get amp amputated, and thank God he didn't. So this this was a very emotional victory for our truth. And this was a great victory for the Miz as well. You know, let's face it. Miz has more losses than wins at WrestleMania. So, yeah. I mean, the Miz has won a few WrestleMania matches, but he has more losses than wins. So, yeah, I'm happy for all four men. And I am happy that the tag team titles are finally divided. So let's see what kind of designs we get for both titles. And I know they're going to be called the WWE Tag Team Championship, World Tag Team Championship. So that was rumored months ago by a few wrestling journalists. So yeah, amazing ladder match for the tag titles. The next match of the night, where Mysterio and Andrade defeat Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. I'm going to be honest, the dudes that I got in the ring, I think they're football players, and if I'm not mistaken, one of them is Taylor Swift's boyfriend. I do not fucking know. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but this match, it wasn't boring. It was okay. You know, I feel like this is a match you could have literally just watch on a Friday Night Smackdown, you know. Even though Carlito didn't have a match, I am happy that he was involved in WrestleMania. This is Carlito's first WrestleMania since WrestleMania 26 when he was in that pre-show Battle Royal, so... Yeah, you know, it wasn't a bad match. For me, it was an okay tag team match, but I really wanted Dom and Santos to win. I wanted Dom to pin his father, but no, it wasn't like that. Dom didn't got the pin, though. It was Santos, but yeah. Ray and Andrade get the W. All right, in the next match of the night, this match was boring as a motherfucker. Jey Uso defeats Jimmy Uso. What the fuck? Such a great buildup and storyline. And this match sucked monkey ass, man. This match was like, you kick me, I kick you. We both kick each other. Yay, I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. If they have a next match, I hope it's way better. But it was disappointing. I did not like it. Boring ass match. But yeah, Jay gets the W against Jimmy Uso. Jimmy should have won, but I'm okay with Jay. The next match of the night, Bianca Belair, Naomi, Jay Cargill, defeat, damage control. This was an okay tag team match as well. Uh, this is a match that, you know, you could have watched on Monday Night Raw. It was nothing special, to be quite honest. Even though 
um, Bianca Belair and Naomi J. Cargill, they had great entrances. And Dakota Kai looked sexy as hell. But yeah, I wasn't really feeling this tag team match either. It was just okay. But yeah, Bianca, Naomi J. Cargill gets a W. Bianca Belair remains 4-0 WrestleMania. I guess Bianca Belair is going to become like the Undertaker in the women's division when it comes to WrestleMania. Hmm. In the next match of the night, this was a big holy shit. Zami Zayn defeats Gunther to become the new WWE Intercontinental Champion. Gunther's historic icy title reign of 666 days, yeah, 666, I know crazy, right, is over. Sami Zayn beats Gunter cleanly. One, two, three, to win his fourth Intercontinental Championship. I see some fans happy about this. I see others that are not happy. They're saying so many other guys that was worthy to defeat Gunter and they give it to Sami. Okay, I'm okay with this. I do agree with other say, but I'm okay with it because, you know, Sammy is fucking badass. Like, they're not gonna deep push Sammy. Like, no. Like, Sammy is still a very sentimental favor. Favorite, I meant to say, sorry. You know, he's a big fan favorite, so. He's like Daniel Bryan when Daniel Bryan was there. Like, I, I like the way the match was. Gunter dominated most of the match. He was doing a great job getting a heel heat. Like, it, it was it was great storytelling to be quite honest like it was a very special moment like i'm not mad that zami won i'm happy should it have been someone else yes but my mad that zami won fuck no i'm happy for him you know like i hope he doesn't lose the title quickly though i hope he has a decent reign so yeah zami zane wins his fourth IC title defeating the unstoppable gunter what does this mean for gunter every time we'll tell all right, Adam Pierce and Nick Aldis announced the WrestleMania XL Night One attendance of seventy-two thousand five hundred and forty-three. Alrighty then. In the main event of the night, The Rock and Roman Reigns defeat Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins. Tomorrow, at WrestleMania XL Night Two for the Championship, it will be Bloodline Rose. Yeah, Roman is definitely losing his title tomorrow. I'm not ready for that. I mean, I do want to see Cody's WWE Champion, but. I wanted Roman to break Hong Kong's record, but yep, it's definitely gonna end tomorrow night. Rest of me next night too. This match gave me some fucking attitude era and and ruthless aggression era vibes. Like at first, it started off like a classic, you know, traditional tag team match. After that, the rocks of the referee don't make a count now. He'll fucking fire him. They're already fighting all over the place, you know, in the entrance ramp during through the crowd. Like, yeah, it, it had, like, that ruthless aggression and attitude era vibes. Like, these four men beat the fuck out of each other. If I'm not mistaken, this match had a runtime of 40 minutes. In the match, Roman accidentally hit the rock with a spear, but everything was all good in the hood. <laughs> I should have never said that. Uh, anyways, everything was good between them. Right? And as I feel stupid and cringe saying that. <laughs> um, Yeah. The Rock, he hits the people's elbow on Cody Rhodes and he pins him one, two, three. Cody's definitely gonna win the WWE title tomorrow night, WrestleMania next on night two. It's definitely gonna be Avengers Endgame all over again. I this is my prediction. It's not a spoiler, it's just me predicting. I see John Cena, Stone Cold, Jay Uso, hell even fucking CM Punk, maybe. I could be wrong. Coming in and help Cody finish his story, fend off the bloodline, and finally pinning Roman one, two, three. To end Roman's historic 1,316 days. So, yeah, I definitely see Cody winning tomorrow. Once again, I do want to see Roman beat Hogan's record, but it's not going to happen. So, I should just be happy. I'm a big Roman Reigns fan. You guys have been knowing this for years. You know, I am happy that he finally had a long reign. I just didn't know it was going to be that long. But, yeah, tomorrow night, Roman Reigns is definitely going to lose his WWE title and his four... I'm sorry, his three and a half reign, almost four years, will end. It's definitely going to end. But yeah, night one. Out of a ten, I'm going to give it a solid seven. I don't know. It, it, it didn't, I didn't feel that much 
hype for night one as I'm watching before my eyes, like last year's night one WrestleMania 39. I hope tomorrow night's way better. My favorite match is, you know, that I was really, really, really into it was the ladder match, the IC title match, and the tag team match. Like, those were the matches I was really, really in, into them. I was really into them. Those are the matches. You know, I wasn't that into them or they were okay for me. So hopefully tomorrow night it delivers and it'll be way better than night one, hopefully. But yeah, that'll be all. Tell me, what was your guys' favorite match or matches? Do you enjoy night one? Were you expecting for night two? So yeah, that'll be all. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time watching this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and that'll be all. Goodbye. Take care. God bless you.